off there. Oh god, what's that? I've tripped on something. And I've got the key. Now live with Spiz Cam as we go down this. Hello, Rosie. Hi, good morning and welcome to Spears, where today it's a bit of a girly one today. We're going looking for the secret garden in Forfa, yeah. So all you have to do seemingly is go and ask uh, in a shop for a key and it takes you into this little gardened area. It's going to be a secret with a wee tower inside it seemingly. So this one is uh, thanks to my friend Dawn Crichton. She told us all about this. So we're going to go and try and find the secret garden. But first of all, we're waiting on... Rosie, wherever she is supposed to be, God knows where she is. Anyway, do enjoy the video today, and off we go! In search of the uh, secret garden in Forfa. Indeed we are, so we're looking forward to this. We've both got our shades on today, and uh, here we go. Good luck to us. Oh, we've already found something exciting to look at. Hmm, a botanic gardens. Hmm. Sort of memorial thing here as well. Lovely. We found this incredibly small alleyway. Look at this. So we're going to Manor Street. We're going down this little alley. Now live with Spiz Cam as we go down this rather high-walled alleyway. A strange little place. Around the corner. Oh, it goes for miles. Wow. Excellent. Little uh, alleyway that was. What do they call them? Gimbals or something? Is it Rosie or something like that? Uh, Snickety wicketies or something? They were called New York. Remember? Jimmy here was home to the poet John Neve. Now I've never heard of him, but uh, 1792 to 1870. So I'll go and have a little look on the internet when I get home and see what all that's about. So that was the poet John Neve's home, just right there in Manor Street. Excellent. Maybe not. Okay, well here we are inside St. John's Episcopal Church. I've never been here before. It's absolutely massive. The roof goes right to the top. Well, obviously the roof goes right to the top, but um, I'll take you up the, I'll take you up the aisle. <laughs> here we go, live with Spiz. Here we go. Oh wow, look at this. It's lovely. Right, here I am in the pulpit, about to give my sermon to my congregation of one. Hello, Rosie. Hmm. Searching for this, uh, the key, the key to the secret garden, but fortunately I've just met somebody I've known there, and they've, uh, they've told me where to go and get this key, so I have to walk all the way back down the town now to get to this secret garden. Again, a scone. But look at it. It's got to be the thinnest scone ever. Well, I don't, I, I don't really dis businesses and things, but that was pathetic. Service with a smile. Yeah, right. That was uh, two out of ten for the pathetic, pathetic thin scone that was. Rubbish. Anyway, on we Hopped go. into this little, uh, what was it called the East Parish Church or something? Because I've seen some old Oh, gravestones just down here. Let's see what we can find. Show off some really old gravestones here. Look. Pretty sad one with lots of deaths of young children. Look at that. Four years, 14 weeks. They didn't live, yeah, they didn't live long in them days, did they? Shame. This is the old uh, graveyard at the back of this old church. And look, it's on a hill. It's strange indeed. Here's another very sad one with lots of children. Um, the memory of this guy and of their children. Uh, there's one that was five, that one was three, that was only one. Bruce was only five. David, oh, he was only months old, goodness. And then Thomas, he was two, so that's very sad, isn't it? Crikey. It's a very sad indeed, all these children dying very young. There's a few graves that we've seen here. Uh, they all died around about 1810 to 1830. Very young when they died, two, three, four, five, you know. 
must have been a, a low tolerance rate to disease in them days. So I'm going to go home and investigate, see what caused all these deaths in Fukfa. Strange. Right, I've sneaked into this little area here, an old bingo club. A couple of houses, but it's the bingo club. Let's see what's up there. Oh, we seem to have a, a bit of trouble finding where to go. We've been up and down the road and just can't find any news agent shop that we're supposed to go in, no. Honestly. Right, but we will find it, won't we, Rosie? Yeah. Found it. And it's all the way up those stairs, look. There we go. So I've got to go and get a key from the museum. Found. I've got the key. There's a way up some stairs. Come on, come with us. Come on. I need a spiz partner. It's a two-man job, this. <laughs> right, here we right, go. We are in. And we are had to go through a funny gate. And we're now going up these cobbled stairs. I'm not sure what we're going to expect up here, but... Uh, looks interesting, anyway. This camera's come around the corner. And what do we have? Oh, there it is. Oh, crikey. Here we go, this is it. We found the secret tower, which is the remains of Porfa Castle. Excellent. We found it. <laughs> Live as we got the stairs here. It's very safe, Rosie, you'll be all right. And what's at the top? Well, it's just going to be a view, isn't it, really? There we go. Oh. There we go, then. We're at the top. So not much to see. And here's Rosie. She made it. Well done, darling. Well, here we are, then. We've made it to the top of this for for castle or what the rings off it. It's just a little turret kind of place. But a uh, yeah, nice little view off the... Oh, God, what's that? I've tipped on something. <gasps> Did you see that? on that there, crazy. <laughs> I just tripped on the, the base of my flagpole. Yeah, so uh, I'll give you a little scoot around with the camera. Here we go. There we are now. Just coming into view right now between those trees. Just up the top there is Balmashan. No, 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 no. Uh, where Bro and I were up a few months ago. And uh, just a fairly Boring view. Everything's covered in trees, unfortunately, so you can't really see much. And that's about it. Quick week past this tree and then looking up there towards the glens. Excellent. Well, it's time for a mark on the old spizometer. Now then, to get here, we kind of did a whole loop the loop of four for trying to find it. We had to ask a few people where to go. Eventually, we got here. Um, it's one of these places that's in the centre of Forth and it's well overlooked. Even some of the locals don't even know this place exists. So. Um, it's a bit of a mystery why it's here and you know, what it was used for. I didn't have time to really research it. So, on the spizometer, I'm going to give this one eh? a four and a half out of ten. Um, as I said, it's very unusual just to kind of find out. And I had a, a nice little walk around four five. Thank you. just come up with a fantastic idea she said it must have been the bionic plague <laughs> the bionic plague must have off the oh god was that I've tipped on something off the oh god was that I've tipped on something off the oh god was that I've tipped on something